Right, this is the alternative beginning to this video. There are two endings, um, like a special director's cut Steven Spielberg movie, but um, yeah, there's two completely different endings to this. So uh, if you get to the end, and I've just told you that the fuel pump's knackered, hang on a bit, because uh, it might not be. So, cheers. Here's the video. Hello, just bring you back. Uh, got another little little test job to do on the V-Strom. I'm going to measure the fuel pump flow rate. Um, I'll take you through that in a minute. Um, still not, still not 100% happy with the uh, performance the bike it was perfect ever since I got the bike I don't know a couple of months ago it's just been sweet full power at all revs in all gears loaded or unloaded um, just fine and then uh, a couple of weeks ago when I lost half the power and deduced that that would be the fuel filter blocked which it was completely and utterly blocked solid. So, previous video, um, clean that all out. And then I decided to de-rust the tank with phosphoric acid, which was the last couple of videos. So it's all good, everything's clean. Got it back together. Um, it's running, it seems to be running fine. Um, then, very occasionally, um, if you try to throttle hard, um, say you're coming off of a, a roundabout or a junction and you want to throttle hard instead of progressive, um, it's just bogging a little bit, but only maybe, say you did 10 roundabouts in a row and did a little sprint between them, it would be maybe one in 10. You'd just get some bogging on full throttle. Now before, when it started to bog down seriously, um, I couldn't even get 4,000 revs from it. And then I cleaned all the fuel system out. So I think when that initially got all silted up, looking at the um, size of the rust particles that had gone, they went through my gauze filter that's in here. A lot of it went through that and the gauze high pressure filter on the fuel pump is probably smaller than that but I, I anyway I got a feeling that some of that dirt rust has gathered in one of the injectors and I'm not getting full flow from um, one of the injectors when I want to cane it um, but before any of that gets looked at I just want to um, check to see if the fuel pump is actually pumping the correct amount of fuel initially um, because the low pressure filter inside the fuel pump which is not accessible um, that may be totally stuffed um, which means new fuel pump type excuse me anyway let's get on with it um, have a look at that and if that's okay I'll tell you what where and what we're going to do from this point see you in a bit all right you are now on wonky tripod cam what I'm going to try and do is detach the fuel line it's like one of these clip things and I'm going to put this bit of hose onto the uh, metal fuel hose a fuel hose that comes out of the tank and then Back in the tip. Uh, where are you? I have marked off on this bottle using a measuring jug with water. I've marked off 300 mil, 350 mil. Um, apparently, if you run the ignition cycle three times, which primes the fuel pump. Um, or primes, well actually it's after the fuel pump, 
primes uh, primes the fuel injectors, the throttle bodies. You should get with three three cycles of the ignition. You should get somewhere between that those two. So let's see if I can get this connector on. Let's see if I can even get it off without removing the tank. It should be great fun. Probably not. I'm going to persevere. Right, that's off. That was fun, but I didn't want to remove all this tank again. Right, I'll stick this hose on, which is, just happens to be the right size hose. Tightly clip. seems to be on. Um, I might, you can't see, um, I'll probably bungee this down and then I'll move the camera so you can see what's going on. Right, here goes then. I think you should be able to see that. Um, you won't be able to see me, but I'll run the ignition cycle three times and it's live, I haven't done this before, so we'll both find out, um, we'll all find out what happens. So here goes. Right, ignition on, I'm going to hit the run switch. Oh, fuel's coming out, lots of fuel. Well, maybe not. Well, that's one. Ignition off. I've got a feeling there's not enough fuel coming out of this already. Okay, here's number two. Don't worry about the colour of it, that's Red X. Okay, that's finished its cycle. Mission off. Mission on. Third time. Well, there you go. I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is gonna put a mark on here. Empty this into my lawnmower, and then I'm gonna use a measuring jug to fill this up with water to see how much actually came out. But I'm gonna guess that's about 150 mil. And I'm also gonna. I just checked this up on the um, forum. Uh, I'm going to double check this in the manual and a few other places to see if that 300 to 350 is correct but if that is correct that means this fuel pump is not delivering what it should do which probably means the the filter that's actually in the pump itself the one you can't get to is probably blocked or the pumps just not well okay I'll stick this back together and uh, have a look at some sources of information 
Okay, well, I just measured the amount of fuel that came out with the three cycles of the fuel pump on the ignition startup, and I've got 200 millilitres. And it should be apparently 300 to 350 millilitres. So I think the fuel pump's worn out, as is the case with many of the uh, same the TL, the DL and the other one, the uh, SV and or the the fuel filter above the pump inside um, which you can't get into maybe that's blocked so anyway uh, just for a laugh I've had a look at how much a genuine uh, fuel pump is and you can only buy it from Suzuki as complete assembly with everything uh, for about 500 pounds um, if you go on eBay you can buy separate just the fuel pump bits um, pattern parts aftermarket pattern parts for like 20 quid for just the pump itself um, which not going to be a lot of good if the filter above the pump is completely blocked so um, it's going in an odd direction now I'm going to phone up where I bought the bike from because I've got the six month warranty uh, let's now find out if that warranty is going to apply to the fuel pump and whether they're going to have to come and take it away and fix it uh, I'd rather do it myself uh, because I trust myself and I don't trust any other body apart from uh, my friend Colin who's got a motorcycle shop he's a Suzuki mechanic for the last 20 25 years I believe I'd rather it went to him and he put it on his diagnostic because uh, this bike has got a diagnostic port and it stores all the problem areas I've had a look in the Haynes manual and all the whole fuel system the injectors the pump and everything it will store any faults there if it's not getting enough pressure and flow and things so I'd really like to take it to Colin he puts it on his diagnostic and he tells me what's wrong with it but the warranty side of it is from the shop I bought it from which is um, about two hours away so um, I'm going to ring them up and see what they tell me to do. But I'm not really that happy about it going to them, them and then it coming back and maybe I'm being pessimistic, but it coming back and they say they've fixed it and it, it's still got any issues. But I'll have a chat with them, see if I can take it to Colin, who I trust, get him to do the diagnosis and then see if they will then under the warranty pay for Colin to fix it maybe so which is a shame because uh, it's, uh, I love the bike um, it's what we both wanted it suits our needs perfectly and when it was running fine for the first six weeks or so it was brilliant and uh, now it's not but I want to get it back uh, basically I think it needs a new fuel pump assembly uh, but uh, with a warranty, I'm hoping I don't have to pay for that. So I'll let you know how it goes. Thanks for watching. I'll be springing. Peace and love.
Hello, right, I've just had a quick ride, so I'll uh, get myself sorted and uh, we'll sit down and talk about the latest. I've just reduced the population of aphids, green fly, in uh, North Lincolnshire by a good couple of thousand. <laughs> Look at that. And that was literally just about 40 miles. Mad. Okay, I'm holding this bottle of uh, Ribena type stuff. It's not uh, Red X. I'm holding this because that will show me when I come to try and edit this all together that this is the ending. Because I am just about to film the very beginning, prequel beginning to what I've done because this has now got two very different endings and or I might just scrap it all, start again anyway, so assuming that this is the very end of this very strange video um, after discovering that I thought the fuel wasn't flowing as fast as it should be according to the specs um, I decided to drain the fuel out that I put in with the Red X and still had bits of WD-40 in it and maybe some remnants of rubbish in the tank as well. Um, I drained it right out with my sump, oil sump drain thing. Um, got it almost completely empty and then I went and got some nice fresh, 10 litres of really nice fresh 99 octane super unleaded my favorite stuff that I run the uh, escort on put that in and went for a ride did about 45 miles every single speed every rev range every type of road that you can imagine all around Lincolnshire a roads B roads villages fast bits slow bits all right through the spectrum and it was about about an hour or so I was out maybe more and it ran perfectly absolutely fine no issues at all uh, so there you go the alternative ending I haven't touched anything in the fuel pump all I did was change the fuel so I've kept the old fuel for the lawnmower because uh, that'll run on anything um, so as at this moment it's running just fine. Um, my next stage with the bike is to... Um, I'm going to take it to my mate Colin, who's a Suzuki mechanic. 25 to 30 years of Suzuki-ing. Um, he's got his own independent shop. It's not a Suzuki franchise, it's his own shop. Um, uh, the bike's going there to him. Um, because I want to do the valve clearances because it's done 20,000 miles and there's no no history of it ever being done and I want to do the throttle body synchronization that's where the balance like balancing carbs but it's two throttle bodies have to be balanced together um, all this I can do at home I can jerry rig it and make up the balancer with jars of liquid and pipes and hoses and I can also do the valve clearances um, and if it's the, I haven't even looked in the manual actually, if it's the shim type um, once I've worked out what shims I need if any then I've got to go and buy the shims from Colin. Anyway, I had a chat with Colin the other day, uh, he'll do the valve clearances and the uh, throttle body balance for pretty much nothing beer money because he's a mate and he's brilliant like that so he's got all the equipment to hand it won't take him long he's got all the shims there so he's being attacked by cats from every angle now so anyway I'm gonna take it to him to do those two bits and I'm gonna get him to put it on his diagnostic machine because this bike has um, a diagnostic um, socket and it records everything that's happened to the bike in terms of fault codes 
So no doubt it will have picked up when the fuel filter blocked and it's and it was running bad and it'll it'll see. Anyway, he can put it on his diagnostics and he can tell me if everything's running properly, if there's any issues with the injectors or the pump or so forth. So now it's running fine. I'm gonna take it in at some point and get it checked to see if it's running fine, if that makes any sense. So thanks for bearing with me. Um, peace and love. See you next time. And uh, or this might all be totally erased and I'll scrap it and start again. So cheers.